Dream Team kids. Hey everyone. Hello. Whoa. Oh, Clara, uh, what are you doing? Oh, there's a fly buzzing about me. Whoa. Wait. Okay, I think it's a bee. It is a bee. Clara, you have to stay very still. But what if it stings me? It, it will only sting you because it's trying to defend itself. If you flap your arms like this, it will think you're attacking it, so it will attack you back. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just stay still, remain calm, and it will fly away. Okay, think calm thoughts. See? Oh, oh it's gone! Phew! Harper, is a true only female bee sting? That is true, Robin. Oh, wow. Oh, did you hear that? It's the gift fairy box. Oh, let's see what's inside. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Oh, it's honey. What a random gift. Well, honey bees make honey. Oh, and what about bumblebees? Well, bumblebees make honey too, but only just enough to feed their colonies. So, do honeybees make a lot of honey then? Yes, they do! They fly around collecting pollen and nectar from all the plants and they bring it back to feed their colonies. Ooh. But the coolest part is, they store their honey in honey combs in their nests. Wow! So many cool facts! I would love to see what honeycomb looks like. Did I hear you say that you would like to see what honeycomb looked like? Oh yes, we'd love to, Gift Fairy! Well, Dream Team, how would you like to go to bee school? Oh, that would be the best dream ever! All right then, Dream Team! <laughs> Clara! <laughs> Lay down and close your eyes. Harper, I'm granting this dream gift to you. Bringing magic, gifting dreams With the tap of my wands, you'll fall asleep dreams come true I'm the gift fairy here's my gift for you dream team world <sighs> dream team where are we we're at the bee school oh, cool. wow. wow look the gift fairy has left us some outfits <laughs> will we put them on let's yeah. do it one, two, three! Woo! Oh, wow. Look at our cool outfit! Oh, wow! I wonder if we're going to see any bees today. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I hope so! Hi, Dream Team! Hi. Hi! Lovely to meet you all. My name is Ellie. I'm Harry. And we're going to see some bees today. Are you ready? Yay! Yay. Brilliant! <laughs> Let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, Dream Team, so we are up at the apiary. That is what we call the place where we keep all of the beehives. Oh. Bees and wasps and other insects are really good at picking up on our emotions. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important we stay nice and calm and peaceful around them. We can it's, do that. Yeah. Brilliant. So when we run away from them, that's why sometimes they sting, because exactly. they can sense we're afraid. Exactly, so if you stay nice and calm, if you ever are lucky enough to have a little bee or a wasp fly close to you, or even cool. land on you, just stay nice and calm. Okay. Another thing is, you're in these really groovy bee suits. They will keep you nice and <laughs> safe. But our bees are so calm and relaxed, you'll hardly realise that they're on. Okay? Great. Perfect. You all have these little cool zips and hoods as well. So when you're ready, take your hood, Pop it right over. Oh, cool. It's like Ooh. we're in a little tent. <laughs> I feel like an astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> Zip it up. There we go. So now you've got your hoods on. Sometimes a little bee might come out of the hive and she might start doing this onto your net. She might just start bouncing on it like it's a trampoline. <laughs> and all she's saying is, come on, come on, let's fight. But you've got to stay nice and calm and just let her do her thing. She will eventually realize it's a waste of time and she'll go back to her hive to her sisters and hang out there instead. Sound okay? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Excellent. All right, so I'll come round with Harry and we'll double check your suits are looking good and then we'll go down and we'll see the bees, okay? Oh All of the hives here at the bee school are named after different flowers and today we're going to visit the hyacinth hive. Oh, I'm so excited. I love hyacinth flowers. <laughs> okay, are we all feeling nice and calm? Let's go. All right, dream team. This 
here is hyacinth. Can everybody see the bees coming in and out? Yes. yes. So what we do is we have something here called a smoker. Ooh. You see the smoke puffs out the top when I press it together? Yeah. yeah. And what's that for? So what this does is I'll pop a little bit in the entrance of the hive like so. What that tells them is that we're going to come in and have a look inside their home. So it's we'll almost started. like knocking on the door. Exactly. So they know that we're going to be there. <laughs> exactly. When we are beekeeping, we do everything nice and slowly and calmly. Ooh. Wow. Hello They're little bees. Beautiful. So in the summer months, in a hive, you can get up to 50,000 bees. Wow. And the bees will fly around a little bit because they want to know what's going on. Yeah. I would want to know too. They're saying, who's in my house? Exactly. <laughs> We're giants compared to them. So bees are really, really good at recognising our voices. Really? So what we like to do is we like to introduce ourselves to the bees. So I'll go first. Hello bees, my name is Ellie. Hi bees, my name is Clara Cloud. Hi bees, my name is Robin Rainbow. Hi bees, my name is Half a Heart. And these are the Dream Team Kids! <laughs> like the hive tool I mentioned earlier, we've got it here. What we do with the hive tool, we put it down nice and slowly and gently and we push away and what it does is it helps us to lift these little oh, frames wow. out and that's where the bees will be. They're so cute! They're very busy working yes. away, aren't they? They're, They're really very busy. Super busy. Ooh! Alright, so there's not much on this frame here because it's a new frame. So we put this in not too long ago for them to start building up. Would you guys like to give that a go? I'll give it a go. Perfect. Hello bees on this side. <laughs> and what about this way? <gasps> Hi bees. Wow, they're all so busy working away. Oh, they're very nice and calm, aren't they Dream oh. Team Kids? Thanks Ellie. No problem. You can see. There's so many on this wow. one. Wow. Look at all the honey. It takes 12 bees their entire lifetime to make one teaspoon of honey. Oh. So when we're taking any honey, we always make sure to leave enough for the bees so that they have enough all through the winter mm. months. Oh. So can you guys see how it's all white? Yeah. So that's the capping. So they won't cap the honey until it's under 18% water concentration. Ah. And that's when it's classed as honey and that's when it's nice and delicious to eat. So when it's white like that, it's finished. It's been, the process has been made, the exactly. honey's ready. Cool. Yeah. Ah. The comb on this frame is really nice and white. That's because it's mm -hmm. brand new and the bees have only made that quite recently. Wow. So can you guys see how this is kind of like a grate? This stops the queen from getting to the super above and laying her eggs in all the honey. Mm -hmm. ah. Because obviously we don't want to eat honey that's filled with the queen's eggs. Oh, no, that sounds nasty. So the queen's in this bottom layer? <gasps> exactly, oh, yeah. I should have put on a nicer outfit. I know, I can't <laughs> wait to meet the queen. Mm. Now what does she look like? She is a little bit longer than the workers. Right. So her abdomen is just a little bit longer. Oh, so it's like oh. finding a needle in a haystack. Really. Yeah, yeah, really. 20,000 bees in this hive, so it can be quite hard to find her. I wonder if we'll find the queen. There she is, <laughs> top left. I'm gonna try and mark a queen now. So how we do that is we've got this here, which is called the crown of thorns. It looks a little bit scary, but trust me, it doesn't hurt the queen and she's perfectly fine. So what we do, we've got the queen in a clip here. We let her onto this frame of honey and then we place that on there and slowly push it down until she's stuck on the frame. Hello, queen. And mark her right on the thorax. Oh, she's beautiful. She's very curious, isn't she? And she's she so sure big is. compared to the rest. Yes. Yeah. So now that you guys learned the ins and outs of beekeeping, it's time to reap the rewards. <gasps> you guys want to have a scoop out of the oh, frame? Yes, yes please. I'm so excited. Yes, please. I want this shiny bit. It looks oh. full of honey. <gasps> wow. wow. Oh, that looks amazing, Arthur. Oh my Arthur. gosh! <laughs> mm. Oh, cool. Look at that, it's so shiny. Oh, I'm gonna have a bit wow. too. <gasps> oh my goodness, this looks amazing. That's incredible. It's so delicious. Mm. So are you guys ready to go down to the bee school and learn more about bees? Oh, yes. yeah, that sounds fun. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun and the bees are so cute. Yeah, I didn't even feel that scared. What do we do now, Ellie? 
All right, dream team. So first of all, we're going to learn some fun facts about bees today. Sound good? Yeah! <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we'll start off with a quiz. So we're going to find out the difference between a wasp, a bumblebee, and a honeybee. Can anyone guess what number one is? Number A? Oh, oh here. I think that one's a bumblebee. <gasps> Correct, it's a bumblebee. So you've got a lovely bumblebee. They're big, buzzy, and strong. Next up. Ooh, that one's a wasp. Wasp, brilliant. And finally, the reason you're all here today, that has to be a honeybee. A honeybee, we saw loads of them up at the hives. So let's find out where these guys live. We have our lovely bumblebee nest, okay? Wow. We've got it right here in a little box. So you'll get up to 200 to 300 bumblebees living in this tiny little box here. Wow. Look at all the holes. <gasps> There's no bees in it now though. Mm -mm. That's so cool, thanks Ellie. No problem. Next up, we have our wasp's nest. You see, they make their nests out of paper oh. and saliva, so that's your spit. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great. Wow. Wow. That round? Oh, oh. <gasps> it feels very funny, almost like hair. Mm. Oh, right. And next up, we have our honeybee nest. Turn this around, it's very, very light and quite delicate, so there you go. We have to be careful. This is the lightest of them all. Is it? <laughs> Oh, look at all those cool shapes, Dream Team Kids. It feels so funny. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Ellie. That's so cool. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So I had a fun idea for a game. Oh, oh, you didn't bring real bees back here, did you? I can hear a buzzing. I thought I could hear buzzing too. <laughs> no, Lucky, we didn't bring any bees back. <laughs> oh, phew. Okay, well, how about a spelling bee? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. yes. I am going to say a phrase and I'm going to tell you a word I would like you to spell. Ooh, okay. And then you've got to take a turn about to spell the word. <gasps> Okay. Oh, I like spelling. First up in the spelling bee is Harper. Okay. Go Harper. So, bees hate the smell of eucalyptus. Can you spell eucalyptus? Oh, okay, I'll try. <laughs> so, I think it starts with the letter E, mm -hmm. then the letter U, C, A, mm -hmm. L, Y, P, T, now this is the letter I'm not sure of. I'm going to have a guess. I think it's A and then S. Oh, you were so close, Harper. Oh. Instead, it's not an A, but a 
You. Oh, you oh, one letter. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> that was a very hard word. That was a very oh. long word. Well done, Harper. <laughs> Clara. Beekeeping is also known as apiculture. Can you spell apiculture? Apiculture? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never even heard that word before, but I'll try. A, P, A. Good start. C, Clara. U, L, T, U, R, E. Apiculture? Oh, you are so close. <sighs> Instead of the A, it is an I. Oh, oh very close. Well Very done. close indeed. Okay, Robin. The main form of communication between bees is through a chemical called pheromones. Can you spell pheromones? Oh, well, I'll try. I think there might be some silent letters in there, oh. which means that the letters, you don't actually hear them. Hmm. Oh, that's so P and H, maybe? <gasps> e Vera. Moans. Oh, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to do my very best. Oh, I'm so sorry, Robin. <sighs> but you've got one letter wrong also. Oh, we were all so close. It's not fair moans, it's fair. Oh, oh. Moans. Great job, Robin. <laughs> and Dream Team Kids, you can try a spelling bee at home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Dream Team Kids. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Dream Team Kids. Bye everyone, see you next time.